All right, now that we have finished our spot illustrations, we can still work on them, but we are going to be adding text to them. And we know the text because for this class, we are using the phrase, suffer no fools. We're going to add the text to our spot illustration and then put a background behind it to design type and a poster design, right? So the type, like different versions of this ampersand, poster design, different ways of laying it out within this vertical format that's going to be 16 inches by 20 inches by around 350 pixels per inch. The first thing we do, we already know what our spot illustration is, we need want to do a text blocking sketch where we figure out how the type will work alongside, on top of, over the top of our illustration. So this is one example through to the final poster. This is another example through to the final poster. This is another example through to the final poster. And that type we're going to design as a vector, which makes it really clean. It's like a logo, but it's all type. So we call that a logo type. But in this case, because it's going with an image and it's labeling something, it's actually called a title flag. In this one, I did kind of two different types, one hand done, one more, you know, using an established typeface that then you modify. Both approaches are acceptable. Okay, so what does this look like? We have to decide on the arrangement of our illustration with our type. This was by the designer who does the key art for Stranger Things for Netflix, Kyle Lambert. He did not design the type itself, but we are going to be designing the type itself. And when we do that, we're going to be paying attention to the space between the letters. We're going to be paying attention to how they overlap with each other. You see how these two are larger than the rest and hang down. The kerning is what you call the space between the letters. Whether we change it into an outline or a fill, any kind of um, texturing effects. We're going to learn about halftone and color separation here. And then it gets put with the art onto a poster. Right? There are illustrators and digital artists that only do mess, you know, mess with type design, usually as vectors. And the same vector solution can yield lots and lots of different versions. And we're going to be looking at uh, a friend of mine, Akiko Sternberger, who does poster design for, for movies in L.A. And she often designs her own type and creates her own type to go with her illustrations, depending on the project. Shepard Fairey, same thing. Very different kind of personality of type for a very different kind of personality of illustration. Some student examples. We design the type both in black and white and color. We merge it with our spot illustration, put it onto a background. We have our poster. So you already know that you are using these words. You get to decide how you're going to arrange them. So I just finished my fox spot illustration. And so my fox is basically a triangle. So how am I going to use those words, suffer no fools? I did these quick little sketches. These are text blocking sketches. And then I did a refined one. And you can, I did that digitally, but you can also do this by hand. And so the refined sketch just blocks it in. You first make the block, and then you divide it into the text. Because you want the, the text overall to make the shape you think complements your image. So think of the blocks as you sketch. And that is text blocking. You come with that sketch, and then we'll, we'll turn it, them into clean black vector type next class, color, add a background behind, understand half toning, things like that to optimize printing, and then we're good. That is it.